good guys, it's Jidea. Welcome back to the Road to Dunking. You're probably wondering why we're starting the Road to Dunking here in the kitchen. Today is February 1st, and we're gonna be talking about nutrition and dieting, everyone's favorite topic. It's actually my least favorite topic. I struggle losing weight, I hate losing weight. I have gotten a Renfro scale, I've mentioned this before. Basically this thing will somehow tell me what my body fat percentage is, et cetera, et cetera. So here are my stats right now. 200 pounds, 16% body fat. Right now we can dunk on 9.7. That is our highest. We are about five, six inches away from our goal of dunking. So realistically, that will never happen while I'm at 200 pounds or 16% body fat. A lot of people say to track your weight every day. I personally get super discouraged the moment my weight goes up even 0.1. So I am now gonna uninstall the app and I will not be looking at this scale for another two weeks. Goodbye, Renfro. I'm gonna be eating as healthy as I possibly can for the next month to really try to get down to 190 pounds. I don't know if I'll lose 10 pounds in a month because I'm gonna to try to eat in a very sustainable way. So I came up with a spreadsheet, you know, how many calories I should eat. According to Renfro, my BMR, how many calories I burn in a day just doing, doing me, is about 2,000. I actually think my BMR is a lot lower than that because a lot of days I don't eat 2,000 calories and I gain weight and I work out. So I don't know how that's possible. So meal prepping, I spent three hours doing this. What you are looking at, 300 grams of chicken, 300 grams of broccoli, 100 grams of white rice. The general advice I hear from people is you wanna eat your body weight and protein. Two of these, two protein shakes, will get me to about 198 grams of protein. That's pretty much my body weight. I might do a different meal prep next week, but I'm gonna be eating boring for the next month. We're gonna really see if I'm gonna lose weight, really see if I make any progress. So, guess let me get back to working out, and then I'm gonna eat this. I got one more exercise today, but look who decided to show up. The competition. My competition. So Efron, you don't a soccer ball at 10 feet. I did. You did. I did. Have you have you gotten closer with the basketball yet? No, I can't palm it. That's my problem. Hand size compared. I have small hands, so I need to see where we're at. Oh, we're oh. like you're like what? Like five percent? Yeah. Yeah. But like my hands. So we so both skinny. have really small hands. Pretty yeah. much, yeah. <laughs> we might need to do some grip strength exercises. We do. Hey, what are we doing right now? We got yeah, we're working on our bird. We need to work on our hands. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Might have to do some Odell Beckham like rubber band finger workouts. Yep. I'm trying to make you lose your job, bro. <laughs> I'm worried I'm not going to be able to do it because you're getting really close. Okay. Okay. What about if I win? What do I get? You guys should make a bet. Well, I'm uh, so close. close. I don't want to bet him. He's one gonna, he's gonna dunk by the end of next week. One Doge coin. No, that's a good bet. All right. One Doge coin. All right. <laughs> and you keep your job. Yes, let's go. <laughs> All right, I'm having my food, enjoying it. This is a lot of food. Everyone always says to count your calories, so that's what I did, but call me a skeptic, but we'll see where we are at the end of the week, I guess. A Thursday of our first week of our second episode. Diet's been going well. I've been eating super healthy, eating all of my meals. I'm gonna show you guys a new batch that I cooked up for lunch. But I got my new little workout buddy cookie in. I have to watch him. This dude ate a plush toy last night. I'm supposed to be watching him at all times until we go back to the bed after this workout. Ah, this actually hurts, but Gotta stick through the pain, trying to get more flexible. Everyone says I'm the most stiff athlete of all time, so we're trying to change that. It is Friday, we are back for the workout. My boy Garth is joining me. Bang, bang. We're about to do my VMO squats. 200 of these bad boys, so I'm in, for, I'm in for a rough time right now. Where's my super vest? Last week on the final workout of our first road to dunking session, I did 200 of these in 20 minutes with the 30 pound vest. This week I'm gonna to try to do 200 of these with a 30 pound vest and a 10 pound dumbbell. Just go up by 5% of my body fat. Or weight, body weight. Correction, I did 100, not 200. My bad. So 
Tell us about your water, James. You've been telling them about the water. All right, so you know I'm a Starbucks fiend. I drink a venti cold brew every day. Started drinking infused water in my gallon jug. Literally, I have not had the urge to get coffee anymore. It's so weird. Really? Literally, a daily coffee drinker for the last like 10 years. The day I started drinking that stuff, I just stopped feeling the need to get coffee. How much more you got, James? Three more. Three more. two gallons of water every day. I drink a whole one during my workout. All right, we're about in the Nordics, so I'm gonna go down, and then I'm gonna be able to push myself up because I can't do it normal yet, not Saquon Barkley. Is that your least favorite workout? My least favorite is the one where it's, we're on the slam board mm -hmm. and the slam board's on the box and you have to like put your heel down. Uh, Cause you gotta balance on one leg and you have all that weight on you. That one's hot, that one is so hard. Time for your protein shake? Time for protein shake and lunch. So I know that this is not the healthiest relationship with food. I'm really just trying to stick it out. I'm gonna try to mix up my diet a little bit more but I just really struggle with weight loss. So this meal, until I can get to a good routine where it feels like Starting to get my BMR up, burning more calories, but until then, the misery bowl. All right, it is Sunday, so I did weigh myself. I am down to 198, so I lost two pounds this week. Not bad, I did feel like I gained a lot of muscle. I don't know, the weight loss does feel a bit more sustainable this time around, I don't know how to describe it. So, hey, hopefully we can set a new PR. Our best dunk with a basketball was 9.7. Our best dunk with soccer ball was 9.9. So, either I'm hoping to get to 9.10 with a soccer ball, or 9-8 with a basketball, we'll see. So this is a 10-foot hoop. I'm gonna try to touch the rim. I heard a good way to get through dunking plateaus is just trying to get to the rim instead of trying to dunk. My form, I feel like I need to work on it, but hey, it is what it is. Touching the rim. I was driving it a few months ago, so I need to figure out what I'm, why I'm not doing that anymore. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, I'm getting up. Let's try 9-7 with the mini basketball. Right here. Okay. All right. Go nine eight with this mini basketball. Oh. All right, y'all. Progress isn't linear. I'm gonna switch to a tennis ball. Work my way up. Okay. All right. So I can dunk at nine eight. I can touch the rim at ten. So let's try nine nine with a tennis ball. Nine nine. All right, let's see if we can do 9-9 with a tennis ball. We did 9-9 with a soccer ball three, three weeks back. So let's we'll see what happens. Oh, that's easy. Oh, dude, 9-10 is tough. All right, I'm here with my nemesis, 9-6. Even though I've done 9-9 with the small balls, I've done 9-7 with a basketball. 9-6 is just really hard for me. I don't know why. So let's see if I can maybe now get even better at that. Nine seven one day. Where's the smaller ball? You know what? I'm ah. I think I'm on my way down as a jumper today. We did not make any progress. We did nine nine again with a small ball, but it was an even smaller ball than last time. I am getting rim on the ten foot off one foot, so I feel like I'm getting close gonna have to keep pushing. It is what it is, so I'm just gonna have to work even harder at my diet a few days after today, because today today we're filming who can gain the most weight in one day for two hype. This video could not have come at a worse time. You know, progress isn't linear, sometimes up and down, so it's gotta push through it. All right, fam, it's gonna be the last workout I show you guys for about two weeks, because we did the two hype video, gained the most weight in 24 hours. We did it. Menu challenge last night for Jesse's video. Got a sufficient amount of garbage in me. So honestly, showing you guys these workouts, these montages, isn't gonna matter. All that really matters the next two weeks is getting my weight down. So see my weight loss. All right, guys, it's been about a week 
since I kicked you guys out of the gym, didn't let you see my workouts, and I am currently sitting at 196 pounds. So I'm the lightest I have been probably since high school, which is a great feeling, or since college, actually. I've also spent a lot of time watching other people's dunking videos. I rewatched Cash's video with the jump roping. I rewatched a lot of videos from Isaiah Rivera. And uh, as you guys pointed out in the first episode, my technique is terrible with the stutter steps. So I'm trying to work my two foot jumping form and trying not to slow down before the jump. See if I can get decent form here. I barely hit the rim, but I also just did 160 calf raises, a bunch of hip flexor and knee workouts. So to be able to touch the rim after that workout, I'm actually pretty happy. I feel like my technique is getting better. One thing I've learned, I really just need to start jumping more. I need to start jumping every day. So I'm just gonna start adding that to my daily routine midday if we're not filming videos just gonna go to the park work on jumping and stuff like that all right y'all i just dunked this on 99 which is the best thing we did in the first episode let's see if i can dunk a soccer ball on 910. all right this is 910. here we go oh hey 910. i got a light dunk on 910. still in the books Honestly, I'm pretty proud of myself because this is post-workout. My leg should be dead, but I'll see you guys on my jump day, Sunday. Hopefully we can make some big progress. My goal is to dunk the soccer ball on 9-10 or 9-11. Hopefully we can dunk a basketball maybe like 9-8, 9-9. 9-8 would be a huge accomplishment, going up an inch. So I'll see you guys Sunday. Time for the Nordics. I've never done one with that assisted Nordic. Got my own push off, but that's okay. I don't think I'm quite there yet, but we'll see. Yeah, okay. I didn't go all the way down. I didn't go all the way down, though. Ah! Yes! Yes! Bro, oh, y'all have no idea how hard that is. That's impressive. Bro, I did That's what, three, four Nordics? Three, three. Three full Nordics, one half Nordic. I'm proud of myself, bro. That, uh, that was tough to build up to. Holy shit, I can't believe I did three of them. Oh my God. I honestly thought I might have been able to dunk before I did one of those. Oh, I'm not even kidding. Sunday morning, here with my frenemy. More friend than enemy. Like, I'd say like 80% friend, 20% yeah. enemy. How's it going, frenemy? You guys remember, if I dunk before Efron, Chris will fire him. Yeah. So Efron has dunked a uh, deflated soccer ball on the 10 foot rim. So he is closer than me. Today we're seeing if you could dunk maybe the soccer ball again. If I can dunk the tennis ball, maybe a soccer ball today. I'm feeling great this week. I gained a little bit of weight. I'm back up to 198. I've literally been eating like 1500 calories a day. We're gonna warm up our knees with a quick game to seven. Oh no. For you. What the hell was that? Everything. I know I don't show a lot of misses. Ah. Oh my god. GG. Our knees are warmed up. We're gonna get some water and try to start dunking. I'm done. I'm tired. I'm going home. Very nice. Nice. Hey! All right, let's try doing that off one now. All right. Come on, nine seven. Here we come. Oh. You almost fell backwards. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. Bro, everyone's definitely. 
probably gonna dunk before me because I feel like your form, like my form is bad, but at front, I feel like you're not going fast enough. So your first two steps would be like sprint steps. This dude Efro is gonna dunk before me for sure. Nah, nah. <laughs> oh, that was a Woo. fucking rock that shit. Okay. Yeah, there you go. All right. Nine eight or nine, nine seven? One more time. Nine eight. Hey. Woo. Oh, there I can get it. Get a small ball dunk in. See if that helps. Finally! I'm gonna keep this for when we move to 9 9. <laughs> Yo, fuck, I'm going on 10. I don't need a comp. Oh. <laughs> oh my fucking god! Fucking... I swear I had this much above the rim on that one. Hey, let's go, Efron! So our previous PR with the tiny, tiny ball was 9-11, one inch short of a normal hoop. Let's see if we can get that again. There, I can do it. Okay, I got it. All right. 10 feet, see if I can dunk anything like that. 10 foot, here we go. Feels so much taller. It's the mental block, bro. Just the pretend. Just block. pretend it's nine, 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 yeah, nine, nine, ten. Nine, nine, ten. Nine, ten. Oh, did I get it? All right. So we reviewed the footage of me dunking with the blue ball, and I dunked it. So I have dunked on a ten foot rim, albeit with the smallest ball possible, basically the equivalent of a tennis ball. We got one more week. I learned some lessons. I'm not gonna have a bunch of caffeine before my session. Not gonna have my cheat meal on Saturday, gonna have it on Sunday night. And I really hope when I show up here a week from today, I will be 193 pounds, not 198. I think I gained a lot of water weight because I had a high sodium lunch, so let's hope that's the case. Because if I'm 193, man, things are gonna be different. All right, I'll see y'all on Monday. 409 in five minutes. Hey, this is the first exercise we did in the first road of dunking video. We did 100 total. My shit used to hurt after like 20 of them. I didn't even feel it till like 200 something that time. We're getting better. Final day of episode two of Road to Dunking. We've accomplished a lot in this episode. Did my first Nordic. Did my first dunk with the tiny little blue ball. I guess you could say I have blue balls in a weird way. I'm able to grab the rim now. Never been able to do that before. A lot of you are like, used you did. You grabbed the rim a few times at the old house. The old house has a sport court that is elevated and the rim does not account for the elevation of the sport court on that court. So technically it's not as high up. And I think you also jump higher off that material than you do off concrete. Concrete's the worst material to jump off of. Just get a quick rim gap. So, I'm also the lightest I have been in a long time. I haven't been this light since my summer after freshman year of college. So it's been about eight years since I've been 195 pounds. Here's my Renfro weight chart. So you guys can see my weight loss progress for the month of February. I lost five pounds total, but considering that I'm eating a ton of protein. I'm working out every day. I'm gaining a lot of muscle. So I probably lost like 10 pounds of fat, gained five pounds of muscle, something like that. I don't know. Today's goal is to dunk this. We'll see if I can do it. But first, warm up game versus Efron. Alright, Jesse's joining us today. I am. So my goal for the day is to try to dunk this. We're on 9-7 right now. I like to try to get my two-foot jump and a one-foot jump in, so let's do my two-foot to start out today. If it gets off me, I'll put on a third. 
Hey! I don't even think that. Wait, you got this. Wait, what do you mean you can't do that? You got this easy. Oh, oh yeah. Dane is a better two foot jumper than me. I have zero two foot. He's lost it. You're there, bro. Yeah. Oh, oh, I mean, I'll try 11. I'm not getting 10, but I feel like I could get as close on 11. Ooh. I think I'm still in blue ball game for now, I'm not gonna lie. Is it going to 10? Okay. 10, baby. Uh-oh. I'm just gonna go for a grab, see if I can get that in. Oh yeah. I don't know, why can't I do it on 9-10? My hands are so fucking small. Uh. All right, y'all. That was episode two of Road to Dunking. We made a lot of progress in this episode. We did dunk this on 10 foot one time, so that was pretty great. Wasn't able to get up there today, but you know, I'm just gonna keep grinding, keep grinding. I said I was gonna do these videos once a month. Honestly, I feel like third episode I might hold for two months just because I feel like I'm gonna need to get down to 185 not 190 if I'm gonna dunk, so. We're gonna take two months on the next one, or if I dunk before then, which I, I kinda doubt. I feel like two months is maybe our timeline, maybe two, three, but see you guys in two months for episode three. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Shout out to Jesse and Efron for coming out this morning. And peace.